push-up cycle is over, that doesn't mean we're going to be done with push-ups. It just means we're going to sprinkle in some different movements, some different gymnastics movements in addition to push-ups. I think it's important we give our shoulders a little break. Push-ups, uh, a high rep, uh, multiple days a week will probably end up leaving some people with some, some shoulder soreness. So this will be a good opportunity to let some of that recover and do some different work, some different capacity building with some of these other movements. Today is going to be air squats. Now, you're going to start with 28. You got 28, 24, 20, 16, 12, 8, 4. The, the individual sets have to be unbroken, but I can rest as needed between the 28 and 24. So what's that mean? When Spencer starts doing his squats, that's the pace he has to keep for all 28 of his squats. He cannot break that tempo. When he gets to 28, he has to stop. It's, it's got to be a stop. There's got to be a break there. Maybe it's only two seconds, but it's got to be a break. Then he would reestablish a new pace for the 24. Maybe he knows his legs are a little fatigued, so he starts slowing it down a little bit. Now this is his new pace for 24. As long as he goes unbroken, he's good. He breaks, now he starts instead of 20 and continues this until he finishes his final four air squats. The total time is what we're looking for, the fastest time possible, but make sure we're smart. This, again, it starts to create some awareness of what our capabilities are and how fast we actually can go with these air squats. If you start, start pretty fast. If you start in this pace, that's gonna be really hard, even for 28 air squats, relax. Even for 28, that's gonna be really hard to keep up with. And if you do make it, now my legs are so blown up that the set of 20 becomes slower and slower. So make sure I'm smart and I have a plan going into this to maximize my time versus the quality of movement. All right guys, have fun.